So I know that I'm going. I know in my heart I'm doing the right thing. And so I'm going. If I stay there, I don't know. If I come back after a month, I don't know. If I come back next year, I don't know. I don't have, what I want to say is, I don't have a plan to come. I have a plan to go. And the thing is, you touch um, uh, uh, issue. I came out with a problem uh, that doctors believe it was because of the water that I was drinking. And um, two things. I was getting um, fever and also blood on my feces. And uh, I start to get very weak, losing weight, not uh, feel like eating. And it was like in one week, I start to get lower on my energy and upper with my temperature. And so I decided to go to the Doctors Without Frontiers at the Medica um, border. And they, they told me it was a French and an Israeli doctor that saw me say, listen, and they have experience like no one's what concerns <laughs> wars. And they, they told me, listen, this is E. coli or hepatitis A. You have to go to the hospital. I told them, listen, how can I drive to Portugal? I'm not, I don't want to go to a, a Polish hospital because if I'm going to die, I want to die in my country. I'm not want to die in Poland. I mean, Ukraine is one thing, Poland is another one. And they, uh, they put me, um, I don't know how to say, um, those balloon things uh, on my vein. Oh, the, the um, yeah, the um, uh, IV. Yeah. Uh, the, the bag with the liquid, yeah, IV. Yes. And they give me, uh, they gave me um, medicines. So after hours, I went uh, by car. It took me five days to arrive in Portugal, and I went to the to the to the hospital here. 